So one of the other things about this device is that you want it to be personal, and you want it to know that it's yours when you pick it up. So this is my daughter in Barcelona a couple years ago, and I know it's mine as soon as I see it. I also see the uh, calendar items, the messages, what my battery looks like, everything right here. And to get started, I just simply slide up from the bottom using the edges, and I come to a new way to log in to my PC. Now, I can use a traditional password or even a pin to log in. But with touch, we can do some things differently. We can draw circles, we can touch points, we can draw lines, things you can't really do with a mouse. Like, try repeating a circle with the mouse. It's pretty hard. But here, it's really easy to log in. So I press on the nose of my husband, my son, again in Barcelona, and draw a line, and I get right in to the start screen. So the start screen is a place, it's kind of your home place for Windows. It's a place you're going to go to find all the apps that you have on your system. And I've been using this for a while, and it's adapted to me with a bunch of apps that I've installed. And I've organized them and arranged them the way I want to make it easy for me to get to the things that I want to do. Now, Windows 7 had a good way to start applications. I had Start Menu in the taskbar. And it was very good for dozens of apps. But with Windows 8, you're going to have hundreds of apps. And you want much more flexibility in how you move around and arrange things. So you could pin things before to the Start Menu but it was only a few things. Here I have my favorite friends and coworkers pinned right to the front. I have websites, and I can have as many as I want. Now, a couple words that we used a lot in the team when we were designing were the, what Stephen already said, fast and fluid. And so we'd test all of our features on whether we felt that they were fast and fluid, because we wanted to be you know, only a fun experience as well as a super functional experience. So here I am flicking through. And it's pretty fast and fluid. If I want to see everything all at once, I just pinch. I can see everything. I can name these groups, find one that I want. I can rearrange them in a very fast and fluid way, too. I'm going to drag down, select this whole group, move it over to where I want it to go, right here next to people. And I can click to zoom right in to wherever I want to go and grab an item. It will automatically zoom out for me as I come down. I can find a new place to put it. And it's all very, you know, holds true to that saying that we had, fast and fluid. So we applied those same principles to the applications that are built into the consumer preview as well. Here's Internet Explorer. And right away it comes up, and you can see the HTML5 rendering engine and our fish. You've probably seen the fish before. And here it is with the HTML5 standards-based browser. And again, I'm going to use the edge. I go up from the side, and I get right to the address bar. And clicking into the address bar brings up my frequent sites, my pin sites, and makes it easy to get back to where I want to go. I'm going to bring up a site where you can surf and show you a little bit more about how fast and fluid it is. So here I am clicking around links, flick up, flick down. I can flick to go back. It's all very easy and, and actually fun to be sitting on your couch, kind of browsing the web, clicker in one hand, watching the TV, doing whatever I want to do while I'm looking at the web. Now, to get back to start, it's right under my thumb. So I come out from the right-hand side, slide out the charms bar, and it takes me right back to start. So Windows has always been about uh, launching, but also switching between applications. And today, you do that with Alt-Tab. A lot of people do it with Alt-Tab, which is fast, but it's not all that fluid. So we needed a, a new way to do that where it worked really well with touch. So I'm going to use my left thumb, and I'm going to slide through the applications out from the left. So just with a little flick, we can slide through here. And if I don't want to uh, slide through to find the one that I want, I can also just bring my thumb in a little bit and back a little bit, and it'll give me the full list of applications that I have running. And I can quickly choose the one that I want to go to and just out of the list. Another fast and fluid motion that we have is to close an app. You don't really need to close apps in Windows 8. We'll talk about that a little later. But if you do want to close it, you just take your finger from the top, drag it down, and right off the screen. So here I am back in Start. And if you're like me, you, you belong to a lot of different social networks. And you have friends, 
that are in Facebook and Google, in your Exchange contact list. And we have a people app that brings together all the different things at all the different places. So right now, I have Facebook and Windows Live already connected, but I could also do Twitter, Google, Exchange. And then all the people, my friends and coworkers, are all listed here. And it makes it really easy for me to stay in touch with them. I actually can pin people to back to the start screen, and so I get one-click access, where the start screen kind of becomes a sort of dashboard of things that are going on in your life. So here I'm going to press on Chris, and we'll look at his contact information and the photos that he has across the various social networks and his What's New feed. And we were IMing earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and send him, go back to IM. And here is uh, our new instant messaging client for Metro style applications. But I very, very rarely do IM full screen. It's, I'm usually doing something else at the same time. And Windows has always been really good at letting you do them more than one thing at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my list and find that video and pull it out and dock it right next to my instant message. Now, I probably want the instant message small and the video big, or maybe I want it on the other side. I can pull it right back on the other side. So I'm going to do that for you again. So we're going to take the video off. I'm going to slide it out, dock it here on the side, make the video big down, bring it over. And it's really fast and fluid, that notion of fast and fluid. So down, back again. One of the nice things about this automatic snapping between two windows is that I don't have to manage the windows. They don't overlap on top of each other. And so when I do something like click a link, it's going to go right to Internet Explorer without ha me having to manage where that went. A lot of times when I'm in Internet Explorer, I do like to send links to people. And today, you'd use copy and paste. So you copy and paste your link. You bring up email, you paste in the link, you type in the email. And there's a lot of steps between that. And what I really want to do is I just want to get this page to my friend or this document to another application and without all those steps in between. And so in Windows 8, we have a system-wide sharing concept. So I go up here and I use the charms bar and go to share. And all the apps that I use are right here. And all the people that I've been emailing with in you know, a frequently used place are right here. So apps don't need to know anything about each other in order for this to work. So I'm going to go uh, press email for Shannon. It's going to automatically bring in that link. It's going to fill out her address. And right away, I can send something to her really quickly. So that is a quick peek at Windows 8 running on a ta this tablet PC. And now we're going to have Antoine come out and show you how it works on a laptop.